wants to throw it down. For the intercepted by Jason Taylor. 15 breaks the tackle. 10 and 5. Touchdown, Dolphins. Grossman never saw it. Over the years, I've coached thousands of players, more than a dozen in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And of all those players, Jason Taylor is a special one. Hey, I'll tell you what. You just sit there and watch me, all right? While Jason Taylor was a standout defensive lineman and linebacker at the University of Akron, he entered the 1997 draft facing doubts about his size and NFL compatibility. But one coach had no such apprehension. Studying Jason Taylor, he reminded me a lot of another pro football Hall of Famer, Charles Haley, who I had in Dallas. Jason was an undersized defensive end with great speed, quickness, intelligence, and so I said, hey, this is going to be a similar type player, and that's the way it turned out. Taylor was drafted by the Dolphins in the third round and made an immediate impact at defensive end, recording five sacks and two forced fumbles his rookie season. Tennessee's throwing the football it's on the ground. What Who's a got play it? by Jason Taylor. From day one, I knew Jason Taylor was going to be a good player for us because he's an intelligent player, so I knew he would continually get better. Taylor proved Johnson correct, reaching six Pro Bowls and being named the 2006 NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Intercepted by Jason Taylor. And he's going to go the distance. 99, right on time again. He was the guy that every opponent had to say, okay, how are we going to protect against Jason Taylor? He's tall, he's got range, he's got long arms, he's able to separate himself from the offensive blockers. On top of that, he's got extreme quickness. Brady takes the snap, and the ball taken away by Taylor, and recovered by Agunlaye. Taylor notched 139 and a half sacks in his 15-year career, good for seventh on the all-time list, and just as remarkable was when he made those plays. When you're looking at great players, they all make plays. But Jason Taylor not only made plays, he made plays at won ball games. Whether it be an interception or a fumble recovery or a sack or maybe a strip and a score, he's going to find ways to win. And he's stripped with the football. Jason Taylor's he got be He picked it up. He may go the distance. Jason Taylor is going to score a touchdown. Get to the end zone. Touchdown, Jason Taylor. He's competitive. He's smart. Extremely coachable. Really, he's a pleasant player to be around. That's been the one constant for this Dolphin team, even through some losing years and years of struggle. That defense has been good. Why has that defense been good? One of the main reasons, Jason Taylor. And that's what Jimmy Johnson saw to him when he drafted him out of Akron. Uh, it was a guy who was more than just a pass rusher. He was a football player. Once I get in my stance, that's when I start to you know, think about what I'm going to do to him. He doesn't believe that just because a tackle outweighs him by 70 pounds, that he can't beat this guy even with a bull rush he will force a tackle to do something that the tackle doesn't want to do realizes he's doing it and watches taylor go by if you have 15 sacks then you know you're the considered one of the best in the league i mean you think about it, it's only 15 times you're tackling a quarterback out of all the plays during a season out of the thousand plays you take during the season so i mean it's so hard to get once you get back and get him on the ground it's it's probably the best feeling in the world when you look back at this era of pro football he will be the guy who you could hold up as the greatest combination pass rusher and undersized player against the run of everybody. He'll be a guy who six, seven, eight years will be a very, very interesting debate for the Pro Football Hall of Fame.